Girl State Charge Project builds leadership and communication skills with an emphasis on teamwork. The project is available to all girls who participate in the Explorathon. We focus on a science, technology, engineering, or math project. This year, we targeted video production and computer technology. Four teams produced this videotape about Explorathon 2009. Access Vision, Battle Creek Area's Community Television Network provided the training for girls to take charge at its downtown facilities. The Explorathon is an American Association of University Women Battle Creek Branch Career Workshop for 4th and 5th grade girls. March 14, 2009 marked the 14th year of the event. Over 165 girls and their parents attended the Explorathon at Lakeview Middle School in Battle Creek, Michigan. AAUW advances equality for women and girls through advocacy, education, and research and philanthropy. My name is Megan Martinez. My name is Kamiko McLaughlin. My name is Melanie Kellogg. This is my first year at Girls Take Charge. I have been attending Girls Take Charge for about three years now. This is my second year. What I look forward to most at Explorathon is probably interviewing the midwife and interviewing the kids about what they think about Explorathon. My name is Lily Fingus. My name is Rachel Dugan and I go to Endeavor Charter Academy. I'm Bailey Parker and I go to Albert Middle School. I have been in Girls Take Charge for two years. Uh, this is my first year with Girls Take Charge and I really like it. I have been with Girls Take Charge program for two years. What I think is cool about it is that, well, some of these things, they go on TV and I think that it would be really cool to have one on TV. I might be a person that takes different types of shots and films when I grow up. My name is Kayla Conklin. My name is Emily Hamner and I go to Harper Creek Middle School. I've learned how to participate well with other people and what kind of job fields are available to women that weren't before. It shows young girls what they can do when they're older and so they won't have to, well, so they can look into it more if they get interested. I think it's important for other girls to understand what fields are available to them. Um, I think this is my fourth time being in Girls Take Charge. This is my second time being in Girls Take Charge. This is actually my first time in Girls Take Charge. I think the Explorathon will have a lot of people at it, going to different sessions and learning about um, women's careers. On a scale of 1 to 10, I would have to rate it a 10. Yeah, on a scale of 1 to 10, how much fun I've had in Girls Take Charge is 11. volunteer for a social organization at your school, or get involved in an area of the community that you're really passionate about. With all your day-to-day -day responsibilities, I know it's really difficult to find that extra time, but not only will it be rewarding for you now, and you'll learn a lot, but it always helps you to get on the career path that you want. And it also, it takes commitment, and it takes a strong belief in yourself. However, I am here to tell you that each and every one of you here in this room is worth it. You are worth the time, you are worth the commitment, and you are worth all the time and energy your teachers and your family give to you. And take that challenge to be the best student that you can be, be the best community you can be, and be a lifelong learner, not only today, but for the rest of your lives. So go forward and have fun, and thank you very much for this opportunity to speak to all of you today. My name is Sharon Ohm. 
Right now I'm teaching students who are going to be teachers how to teach science. I needed to have a bachelor's degree in physics and a master's degree in physics. Being a physicist, the favorite part is being able to use what I know to make things work better, to put things together and make sure they work and figure things out. As things change, as we've come up with new inventions and new ways of using things, the physicists figure out how much energy it takes, how much electricity, how much force there is, and they make things better. There are so few women who are in engineering, in math, and in physics. And we're smart people, and we can figure things out. My name is Michelle Meisner, and I am a firefighter with the city of Battle Creek. I have been a firefighter for 10 years. What made me want to be a firefighter is a man told me I couldn't. That's exactly why I'm a firefighter right now. You have to go through state testing. You have to be a medical first responder. You have to be licensed in the state of Michigan. And I also have the hazardous materials class I took in Lansing that makes me a technician. I also have to go through a yearly street test. I have to know every street in the city of Battle Creek. I have to go through an engine operator test. And I also have to go through a truck test. They always say at the fire department that if you're not scared, then you should be. Because a little bit of being scared keeps you on your toes. I'm Dr. Sally Turner. I've been a veterinarian for 51 years and I practiced for 42 years. I would recommend it to other girls because it is extremely satisfying. It's exciting. There are so many things that you have to uh, know. You have to uh, be a detective. You have to uh, be able to communicate well with people. You have to like science. And uh, it's just a very rewarding job. There's nothing like doing a cesarean section and delivering live babies. It's the most wonderful feeling in the world. It's great to set a leg on a dog that's broken it and have it be able to run and play again. And it's even uh, more rewarding to have an animal that's near death that you've been able to save. My name is Kim Woodard and I'm a certified professional midwife. Um, I've been practicing, I've been doing births for 16 years. I started after I had my first baby at home with a midwife and um, and then I had did 13 births and then I did a birth I had my son at home with a midwife and I did a nine-year apprenticeship and then I got my certification through the North American Registry of Midwives and I've been a certified midwife for six years I'm in my seventh year of midwifery I attend from 20 to 40 births in a year and I'll see um, my pregnant moms I'll see like around 10 times before they have the baby, and then probably four or five times after they People have who the baby. desire a home birth and a birth with a midwife are, they're looking for a natural birth. Thank you.